Hey guys, this is Ash here from the Network Studios. Welcome back to another video. Today I thought I would do a little video talking to you guys about The Sims 4 on the PS4. What I think it's going to be like. And I'm also just letting you guys know that this game is coming out to the console. Now I'm sure you guys were probably aware about that. But just in case you weren't and you are a pretty big Sims fan then I'm pretty sure you will be pretty excited about this. So what I've got in the background is not a video of mine, but it's actually supposed to be some footage of what the kind of build mode and gameplay is like for The Sims 4 actually on the PlayStation 4. Now, when it comes to The Sims 4, I'm actually pretty happy about this because I've always kind of wanted to play it on the PC, but my laptop's never been fast enough to play it. And I was a big fan of The Sims 2 Pets back on the uh, PS2. I also have played The Sims 3. And it just looks like you can do some pretty cool stuff on The Sims 4. You know, such as partying, building your houses, building upstairs. And I just think, personally, this is going to be a pretty cool game. Now, at first, I wasn't sure whether to get it or not. Whether it was going to be limited to the stuff... Uh, what you can do. I know some of the early sims you were literally limited to just doing things around your house and uh, I think this is going to be pretty cool. I think we're going to be able to make some really cool sims characters on this when it comes out and I think we're going to be able to try and live a really good life. Now I'm not sure if this console version is going to lack of things that the um, PC version has. Um, I'm not sure if the PC will have more stuff on the PC than what we get on the console. I'm not sure. I know we get a deluxe party edition. I'm probably going to only be able to go ahead and get the normal version at the time. Bearing in mind this comes out the same month that the TT Ride on the Edge game comes out. So I will be getting the Ride on the Edge game first as that's more um, exciting to me. But this game itself is still pretty cool and I am uh, looking to be purchasing Into the Sims 4 um, Into the Future, which actually is going to be really good. So what do I think about the game then alternatively? I think the game is going to be good. Like I say, I think there's going to be lots of things that we are going to be able to do inside of the game. I definitely, you know, think there's going to be some cool features in the game. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how things work and sort of like, you know, think because I haven't played Sims sort of since the older Sims on the console. So I'm not like sure whether you still kind of just wait in a time lapse while your Sim goes to work on this game. I'm not exactly sure if you can just literally freely walk to where you want or if you've got to have a loading screen between the neighbourhoods. I'm like really excited to see how this game develops when we actually get the chance to play it. Alternatively... I think this is going to be a good game, and if you are into them, these sort of types of games instead of like war games and Call of Duty games, then this is definitely the game for you, you know, nice to create your own person and just live life and... It should be pretty cool to see uh, what we can do. So this game is coming out. I'm hyped for it. I don't really know too much about the game. If I find any more information about this game or anything major, I will update you guys on this game. Please like, subscribe and comment. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out guys. Enjoy your day.